One of the most common arguments against the anthropogenic global warming theory is that in the 1970s they were predicting an ice age and now they're predicting global warming, giving the impression that the scientists have changed their mind in that time and thus undermining their credibility. This video is going to take a look at just how true the claim was that there was a consensus for global cooling in the 1970s that has now changed to global warming. We are often treated to nostalgic displays of the covers of Time magazine throughout the 70s to prove that there was major concern about global cooling. Do you remember these? The Big Freeze? That was done in 1973. Then in 1977. And then again later in 1997. So obviously there was a clamour in the media about the possibility of an upcoming ice age. So there seemed to have been a consensus in the print media that there was global cooling, but was that same consensus shared by the climatologists of that era? Well, let's take a look at that. From 1970 to 1979, only six papers were published that discussed global cooling. But for every one of those, there were seven papers that discussed global warming. So in fact, it would seem to be the reverse that the majority of scientists in those days were discussing global warming, not global cooling. Well, let's take a look at the Time article itself. The article was published in June of 1974. It had things in it like, the Earth has been cooling since 1940. Ice and snow coverage suddenly increased in 1971. Dust and other particles may be blocking more sunlight. The peril may be more immediate than an upcoming ice age. All sounded very dire, didn't it? Except if you actually read the full article rather than just little snippets of it, there's lots of ifs, ands, maybes, buts in the whole thing. There's vague numbers like a growing number, some scientists, and so on. How important was this article indicating the end of civilization as we know it? Surely they put that on the cover. Nope, they didn't and no mention of an upcoming snowy Armageddon. Newsweek is not a scientific magazine either, but it too published a similar article to those from Time. It contained things like, a drop in food output could start in the next 10 years. The Earth's temperature seems to be cooling down. Meteorologists disagree on the cause and extent of the cooling. A drop of 0 0.05 degrees in ground temperatures in the Northern Hemisphere since 1945. It too sounds rather dire, but once again, the article is full of coulds and maybes and ifs and buts and vague numbers. So it too is not particularly definitive. So once again, we should ask the question, did the magazine consider this such an important thing as to feature it on the cover? Nope, it didn't. Next we play the game of quotes and misquotes. One often quoted item is a National Academy of Sciences report from 1972. This is a quote by James Schlesinger in an op-ed in the New York Times in 2004. Judging from the record of the past interglacial ages, the present time of high temperatures should be drawing to an end, leading to the next glacial age. Well, what was the actual quote from that report? Judging from the record of the past interglacial ages, the present time of high temperature should be drawing to an end, to be followed by a long period of considerably colder temperatures leading to the next glacial age some 20,000 years from now. In fact, several of the six papers mentioned before that talked about global cooling were talking about this glacial interglacial cycle that would be occurring in thousands if not tens of thousands of years in the future, and not the period of the next few decades. Let's go back to those three covers from Time magazine and see what the stories inside those magazines were about. Well, there was this one, The Big Freeze. Surely that was something about coming ice age. No, it wasn't. It was Nixon's energy policies dealing with the energy shortage crisis. Well, what about this one? That was about an unusually severe winter. Nothing about an ice age in it. And lastly, this one. Well, that's got to be fairly damning. How to survive the coming ice age? Well, it would have been if it weren't a fake. This was a fake propagated by David Rose in the Daily Mail and has become a feature of the internet, proving how global cooling was the main feature of the 1970s science scene. What was the actual cover of Time magazine at this time? The Global Warming Survival Guide. 
So once again, the anti-global warming community are using fakes, misquotes, and downright deception, trying to persuade people that the climate scientists at one time had a consensus that global cooling was going to be occurring in the next few decades, when in fact, it was the reverse. They were still talking about global warming, even back then. So the next time you see a montage like this, or like this, Please tell whoever's posting it or is talking about the scientific consensus for global cooling in the 1970s that they're lying. And please post a link to this particular video. Until next time, goodbye.